If you're new around here, we should probably introduce ourselves. We're Chris and Sarah, and that's our dog Kramer. We're an adventurous husband and wife duo who for the last two years have lived van life full time. 2020 threw us a curveball and we recently purchased our first home in Chattanooga, Tennessee, where we're spending half of our time loving our new hometown and half of our time converting our new Sprinter van into our dream adventure mobile. Today's video is all about the little bits of progress we've made on our van over the last few very busy months. So let's get going. day. It's 46 degrees out there. It says it feels like 41. This is cold for us. Pro tip if you're building out a van in the winter, install the heater first. It's 42 degrees outside. It might as well be 30 below because I hate winter. So for the first time in months, we are getting back to building our van. Actually, that's not a very true statement because we've been working on the van periodically, little times here and there, ordering parts, doing a little research. But really the video that y'all are watching today, we started filming this video in September or October and it's January now. Chris has to keep reminding me, Chris is a, Chris is a long game kind of person. I get very short sighted and he has to keep telling me that building this van is like eating an elephant. The only way to get through it is eat it one bite at a time. So this video is all about the little projects that add up to having a really awesome finished, completed van build. It's just gonna take a while. So this is the little bites that go into it. Let's go. First up. Oh. First up, we gotta put a shelf in this back box. It's the shelf. Sarah had to help me out with this part because because of the door. I couldn't get to it. Hey, it's done. Okay, the shelf is in. I'm excited about it. I mean, it's a shelf, but look at that. So now we can use this whole box can put whatever. Job one done. What you doing? I'm spraying adhesive and trying to hold my breath because I'm afraid I'm gonna, this can't be good for me. I am finishing up the fabric in the extended flare. Um, it wasn't as bad. I didn't, I guess everybody just does it whenever it makes sense to them, but finishing up, I think it's going to work. Um, like there's a couple of small discrepancies in here. A lot of the discrepancies that you see, like the rough edges and all this, like even this, this is going to be covered up. So nobody's going to really see it. Like I did the best I could and we're just working with adhesive and fabric and foam on top of fiberglass. It's just kind of messy, but we're going to put the trim ring around it. And so that's going to kind of cover all of this mess. And then the mattress is gonna come up, I think it's a six inch 
so six inch mattress. So that'll come up to like right there and then we'll have our blankets and pillows. So really you're not going to see much of this. You just want to make sure it's in there good so that you're not like wearing and tearing it down. So like your pillows aren't like pulling it down every day, that kind of thing. Um, so I feel pretty good about it. I think it's going to work. I mean, the adhesive they send is like for professional use only. Ha! <laughs> a lot of warnings on this. <laughs> so use in a well ventilated area. So I thought the second one was going to go a lot better than the first one. The first one pretty much went, went off without a hitch. I mean, there's a few spots on it I'm not proud of. And I thought, oh, I'll get it better on the second one. Like, not a problem. The second one was like three times, four times, five times harder than the first one. And I just realized, I think it's probably because on the driver's side, we have the extended flares. So there's a little bit more room to sort of work and push the fabric and all in. And on this side, it's just the, the original trim ring or the original flare space so there's a little less space um i don't want to point out all of our faults but i'm going to <laughs> for the sake of helping you guys if you ever do this it looks okay i think when we get the trim ring in it'll hide a lot of my errors but it's weird fabric like it's a tough fabric it's really it's like burlap almost um so it's kind of hard to work with and it has a little bit of stretch so as you're trying to work out the wrinkles and out the bubbles that are getting stuck while you're adhesiving it like they're, they're like little air bubbles that kind of get stuck in here and you're pulling and it kind of stretches and because there's a pattern in the fabric it's not perfectly lined up like if you look at the top it's just it gets ever so slightly off and it really isn't the worst it's just it's not the worst um it's just not perfect and i really wanted to have this look really clean and all this kind of thing so i'm not happy with how i did it um you may be better than me I did the best I could, but there are still some little issues in here. Um, and I may end up pulling the fabric back up off the foam and trying to work more of those bubbles out. We want to get it as good as possible so it looks professional, but I'm not going to beat myself up over a couple of small bubbles because really it's it's on there well. It adhesived really well. Why, why don't you All just right. show it? So this trim ring will go. go like that so you're not gonna see like that okay so you're not gonna see most of the ugly parts this is gonna go right into the wall so see how it hides all the ugliness around the corners and stuff and it'll be right up in there so we also want to show you guys our last curtains my mom did a great job on them but they never were professional grade by any means they were always a little loose and they wore out with time the fabric that we use but with time that fabric even though it was really thick outdoor fabric it wore out and it just loosened up and they fell out this these are like listen those are better magnets than we had last time too our magnets did well but they weren't this strong um but the fabric itself i don't even know what you call that you can hear it's really tough it's i mean it's not really fabric what is that some mysterious fabric. I don't know what it is. Somebody help me out on this. I feel like I should know this. They're really heavy duty. So you've got the black on one side and then you can choose the color on this side. And so we just went with gray because I think gray is going to kind of be the, we're going to do very neutral tones in our van again, more like grays, natural woods, and then probably black, a lot of black in our van. So this is the color we went with. But the cool thing is, is they like fold up really nice and they stay put. So they fold up really nicely and then they came with the bag and I don't have the bag out here. But all the curtains we ordered, we one, ordered one for every window. So for the sliding windows, the rear windows, and then the sliding door. We didn't buy ones for the front of the van yet in the cab. We'll probably go back and buy those because the ones we have from our first van, they're really worn out. And we could use some nicer ones like this. But they fold up. They have a little carrying bag that came with the actual curtains. So we can just store it on the headliner shelf and they're out of the way and they pack really small. Our last ones, 
Um, you can sew, if you're wanting to make your own, you can sew little little lines in it like that so they do fold up. We did not. And so ours always just sort of laid flat or just got crumpled up and they just looked a mess. So these, we've used these. They did a great job keeping out the cold when we were camping in our van on the way across the country to move our stuff. Um, really excited about this. So those are by Straw Fit. We'll link those down below if you guys are interested. So we got another goodie in the mail. It's our swivel seat. This thing weighs about 30 pounds. It's gonna go on the passenger seat. All right, let's see what it looks like. Oh, this is nice. Look, and it's been tested and approved in America and Canada. You gotta take the seat off, put the swivel mount down, and then bolt it down. Just like that, should be pretty simple. This is in, now we're gonna put the chair on. We're gonna test the seat out now. Ready? Look at this. It's back. Voila! All right, next up, we're gonna install these bad boys. So, we have a couple of lights, actually four, not a couple, four lights that we're going to install right here. Now, like anything in the van, it should be straightforward, but it'll probably take me a long time. But for you, it'll only take a couple minutes because I'll speed this up. So after I put all these brackets on thinking that I could use, there's a uh, slit right here in the brush guard that I thought you could just slide the bolt down and tighten it and there you go. Apparently that's not the case. So now I've got to take these brackets off so I can measure correctly because I have to drill into the brush guard. Moment of truth. Hey, it worked. So as much as I hate drilling holes in a van, there's something satisfying once you do it and it works. It's an awesome feeling. But then when it doesn't work, it's not so awesome. <laughs> Can you see Kramer? <laughs> Come here. What are you doing? You want to say hi? Alright. So yesterday, yesterday I tried finishing the lights and it was getting too dark so I had to put everything up. So I looked at the weather and said, oh you know what, I can do this tomorrow because it's only going to be cold. Well, it is cold. Mm -hmm but now it's like spitting snow. So this is the perfect reminder to say, we're gonna finish the van one bite at a time. You ready to go inside? All right, let's get warm. For more adventures on the road and in our new home, be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.